Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL playoffs replay between Azad Hot and Lumen Slayer. Um, and I've just realised I haven't got animations on, so there we go. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is interesting, right? It's not a. Uh, oh, he's not he's not fielding the edge four. I guess he's just saving that for the one turn. Interesting. I would have probably. I guess he's not that good, is he? Really? Where's the sprint show feet? We'll try, it'll take us half an hour, but we'll try and click on this character. Yeah, okay, we'll try again. No, nope. try again. Yeah, it is sprint show feet. So, um. Yeah, God, I hate, I hate the camera snapping that you can't turn off. So, yeah, it's, it's an auger team. Um, two blockers. Three guarders. Uh, oh no, okay, four guarders. No, quite a few. Four break tackle. Uh, no tackle, of course. That, that's the big weakness of uh, of Ogres is lacking tackle, isn't it? And obviously, there's there's some skinks here that can wreak havoc. Um, there is four guard, five guard on the team because it's silly Billy. And strength two, strength five. So you know this is a. Uh, this isn't that bad, is it? Um, it's a pretty. Oh, okay, so I don't. I, I think you should have uh, blitzed through and put some pressure on the ball here with with skinks. Uh, There's a gaping hole here, wasn't there? I would have liked to have seen three skinks but burst through the hole. I guess they can just dodge through on on a, on a one in nine anyway. But I don't know. Like personally, I've never succeeded a one in nine dodge in my life before. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect that to work. See, I, th I think that was worth it, genuinely worth it there, just whacking all three skinks through. Because, you know, as, if, you, if you keep them spaced out, they've got to then go for the pickup on the ogre. I mean, they've probably got to anyway, right? Because otherwise the skink can just get them wherever they are. Um, and just putting one means that one gets smashed anyway, which is exactly what's happened. So if you're going to put one through, you might as well put all three through. Um, but, but like, you know, kind of spread quite far apart so they couldn't all get shut down. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not that bad for the Ogres. Like, it's, it, it, it is actually a pretty decent uh, Lizard Man team. But I never feel like Lizards are that bad for Ogres. Because Strength 4 might as well be Strength 3 a lot of the time against Ogres, right? Because... They, they're not strong enough to hit your ogres, and they get three dice, like everything gets three dice and slot mods anyway. And Noblar, in this case. I think he should have definitely had the uh, Diamond Tackle on before he made that foul. Because he could have double won that foul, and now, and then this guy would have been free to just to dodge away and, and, and pick up the ball or whatever, score, like maybe. Whereas if you, put, if you stick the uh, Diamond Tackle on him, it's that much harder, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Calm down all the Germans in the chat. Hello, Femi. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh god, fuck. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I don't think you have to say do debts for him here. Um, <laughs> after, out of the 32,000 views on my uh, guide on YouTube, it's 100% men. <laughs> you could be quite safe in seeing dudes when it comes to Blood Bowl. You can say dudes anyway, can't you? For uh, women anyway, like with guys. Guys works for women as well, doesn't it? There's all these team leaders and bullshit courses are like, come on guys, let's do this guys. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you want Volk, <laughs> just just looking through uh, some games. Just don't do, don't be wrong though, Volk. It's very important not to be wrong if you're gonna say things. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't right. You were absolutely wrong. <laughs> oh, he's three dice to Snotling. Well, Snot a Noblar. Knoblar, as uh, Elk calls them. So, I mean, they're, like, it's interesting because obviously, oh god, it's much better if you destroy the Elkers. But. Yeah, I guess to get the uh, crocs over here. Quite like that. Wanna? Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? it? Gives you the G5 for the 2D there. Kind of sucks going to two rerolls. That wasn't even a G5. Not even that. Knoblas. Just, just <laughs> no, 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 just a K. Just a canobla. Oh. oh yuck. Oh he's he's re-rolled a bone here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that is a terrible swing move. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was that was hideous. Just getting a skink surf for no reason. Woo! The good thing is there's not many other players left from the uh, the one day from the Saurus. I don't know if that was all right because it got you got your two D on this ogre as well. So yeah, that that was that was terrible. So obviously you got to worry about the break tackles here. There's, there's still some ogres. Didn't even activate this guy. I don't know what the plan is of Moomin Slayer here, not really moving very much. Yeah, he's going to smash this Canobla. Doesn't get him down though, no tackle on the... Uh no tackle on the lizard man. This lets him base the ball here if he wants. Interesting. Wouldn't have hated getting uh, these two guys in here with GFIs. Like this is obviously fine. Just as an alternative. It could have been an idea. Not saying it was right or wrong. Who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> probably with only two rerolls left, you probably just played safe like this. I'd probably, I'd probably be trying to switch gears and getting the turnover now, with uh, with being an ogre down and two noblars, I think. Well, obviously, I wouldn't have, had, I wouldn't have been that skink down. But not powering. That's the power that time. Interesting. Maybe, maybe should have hit the uh, ogre. Who knows? All right, so we've got the double base. But I mean, it's still just a two plus dodge around it. And another one, so he can't get two plus one. Okay, so like, it sucks using the reroll, but that, that is very tricky to get out of, isn't it? Not that tricky, but still. Three plus, and then where does he go after it as well? Like. Use the reroll on a bonehead again. 
Okay, yeah, just block him a little bit too. Okay, he did do the dodge. Okay, well, I, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Okay, so he's gonna try and dodge blitz and then get forward. Okay. Because he just had so few turns left. That makes sense, kind of. Yeah, that's the furthest forward one, I like that. Get him. Problem is you can't hit this guy, because if it's a push then... Uh, probably should have done this block first, right? So if you do this block first and you only get a push, then you can blitz him again. Whereas, like, then you can blitz him. Whereas now, if this is a push, you're going to have tackles on the ball, but um, did the block anyway. So, um, just don't fail. Easy. Chicky wanna? Well, this is a fucking massacre, isn't it? <laughs> the augers are getting pretty much <laughs> completely wrecked. <laughs> Hello, Grickner. Not bad, thanks, after the glorious performance of England and the footy. And he sculled. And he sculled again. Boy, howdy. You just run away from the uh, ogres? I guess I might as well knock him over. Got my e blow. He could have run away right after the. Uh... Oh, he can reach. Um, if you keep anyone standing, you keep them around here to stop the, the stop the toss, don't you? Because at the moment, his only real chance is uh, is moving this ogre to here and throwing this halfling and hitting the carrier. <laughs> yeah, Sterling was man of the match, wasn't he? For sure. That's true. That's true, Jim. He did everything good that England did, and then he also did the, the worst thing that England did. Yeah, so he believes he's incredible. Oh, he, does, he just goes for the foul rather than the toss. Makes sense, because the toss has got a good chance of casting your own Noblar, and really, even if it had hit the skink, he can just... Uh, Pick up on the next turn anyway. Tell you what, my favourite part of the uh, game was the was the fort that the cameraman had built for himself. That was amazing. That was absolutely incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fancy the female horse, no. No, no, she was, she was, uh, especially for American standards, um, not the prettiest. But who's to say if that's good or bad? <laughs> well, there you go, 1-0 up for Odont. As it hot, Odont Achilles, the same person, or Odontodon, whatever you'd like to call him. Um, one up against Augers and receiving should be an easy win Glorious. from here on out. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. Oh, yeah. I will defend. Ah, yeah, team, fantastic for life, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and she said that terribly, didn't she? The uh, the test text to speech lady. But thank you very much, Calcium. Oh yeah, team fantastic for life. Glorious. Um. Yeah. <laughs>
So this should be easy, shouldn't it? This should be easy. Surely. Surely this should be easy. Tier 2 as well, thank you very much, Carlson. What a legend. And yes, uh, any, anyone who's in the commentary on Discord is uh, is more than welcome to join at any time with the, uh, you know, if I'm in the booth. If I'm in the booth, because I'm, I'm not always in the booth, but when I'm in the booth, then you're welcome to join. Just don't say anything wrong. <laughs> Sorry, <Hello>. folk. <laughs> Hello. I've literally just joined, so I haven't been following this game at all. <laughs> but <laughs> ogres. Yes, you've you've missed ogres getting absolutely bodied so far. Um, yeah, this has been. Let's try and get calcium on the. Uh, let's fucking thing here. All right, try and get calcium's image on the screen for you. Very important. Very important that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, otherwise that's it, I'm out the door, you know, it's part of the rider. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Looking like Crease. So <laughs> 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 basically, uh, Rick put in belief um, into the Blood Bowl masses that ogres are anything except pure dog shit um, <laughs> seems to have backfired somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, someone, some poor sap always qualifies with them. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rough, isn't it, really, with ogres? Like, it's rough to get a result with them. There's only been one win in 39 seasons from ogres in the playoffs. I, I have nothing but admiration for people that play stunties in CCL. Um, it's the opposite of fun for me. <laughs> grinding, grinding to what? Get smoked in the first round? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I can think of better ways to spend multiple hours during a six week or seven week period. But, you know, <laughs> everyone to their own. Yeah. <laughs> Only a push, but he's got another hit. Hello there. Hello. Oh. Is there room for another one? <laughs> there is, yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, Jack here, in case uh, you didn't recognize me. <laughs> yeah. Like we didn't Just... recognize that sultry Just... voice, come on. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> no, the only problem is getting the picture, so I don't know where it is anymore. Mm. It's a great picture, wasn't it? I can fix that. <laughs> oh. So are you once again covering every CCL game, mm. uh, uh, Chalice game, Jim? Not uh, every every one from the round of thirty-two. Um, okay. I'm not going to be doing every game in this round of 64 because there's a lot of them and some of them are a bit crap, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, uh, two, two gone players there. I don't really like this, to be honest. I really don't like this strategy from Ordont here of, uh, of running back because you're splitting your team in half and, like... That one of the great strengths of Lizardmen, I think, is the is the quick strike ability, isn't it? Of you know just having to get a few squares into the opposing half, and then you can score. And obviously, a two 0 up, the game's over. And uh... yeah, um, having played defensive blood bowl, ultra defensive blood bowl like this in the past, and paid the ultimate price for it, I don't like it. And also, why not exploit the height and speed of the skinks um, for once they can actually bully players? They can bully snotlings. So, why wouldn't you want to do that as well? 
Yeah. Or, or, or you could just KO ogres, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, I mean, that helps. That definitely helps, doesn't it? <laughs> Here's Yak. <laughs> yeah, on, that's me. Uh, Jim, can you please uh, uh, share your screen in, in Discord so, so we are on am the I same... Am I not doing that? Oh my god, I'm, I, I am sorry. I thought I'd done that. I thought I'd done that from the start. Yes, I am doing it now. There we go. <laughs> Massive pit. So yeah, as, as Volkayo is saying, uh, we are updating all the the gym streams of the CCL in the, in the website so everyone can VOD them. But it is not healthy to, to cast the, the round of 64 alone, all of them. It's just not advisable. Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of them, isn't there? Um, there's a lot and a lot of games. And diff different from the second round. See, because yeah, this is the thing, right? This is the thing that's happened now. All of a sudden, you know, there's ogres right up in your face and you can run past them, but you can't hand off to anybody. So you're just getting back to where you could have been to start with. Is like, yeah, I think this was a bit of a, a bad strat from old art. Like, it's tricky though. Obviously, it is tricky to defend against like four break tackle ogres. Um, yeah, I was about to say, it's, a, it's the break tackle that's really scared him here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the cage he's setting up right now is an anti break tackle cage. Um, so, I. I sort of understand why he's done it. Still don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing. It's it's completely understandable because yeah, you know, at the end of the day, and also the snotlings can two plus dodge in as well, can't they? So you, they can like one D or two D the ball with skins yeah. quite easily. So like, um, and obviously they could lob a, they could lob a nobla. They could then open the cage, and then they wouldn't even have to break tackle. So like, this is, so like if you go wide like this, you're at real risk of a of a nobla in the cage. Um, yeah, so Adon is, is exactly oh, what's happening. We wow. love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> Clever <Beautiful>. Jim. <laughs> Didn't know that had happened, by the way. <laughs> oh, got to reroll that. Gets the ball. Oh man, luck a dog. <laughs> love and to the see it. Break. <laughs> Well, that that's that's a stunty team properly played. Yeah. It is a little bit like vampires, right? You you, you have one vampire in your backfield and and a hypnogaze, and and suddenly you can be in all sorts of trouble. So, they are all they are ogres. They are even worse than vampires, but but they they do something similar. Be really pissed if I was the lizards right now. Let's be fair, <laughs> you know the low odds. Um, snotling missile. <laughs> yeah. but, but you have to try that. You have to try that. It's, it's oh, why you have yeah. that team. Yeah, it, it's yeah. why you have the strong arm. It's, it's there's no other use for that snotling. Yeah, although you'd be upset about it, you you can't begrudge a stunty player doing that, can you? And part of you actually really likes to see it, so. Yeah, and that's why they action, that's why they don't go very further in in the playoffs because they have to try those things and they lose by them yeah okay. unless you're Rick reckless of course then you can string together seven eight games of insane ogerness <laughs> before <laughs> failing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not in CCL though. <laughs> Let's no, be no. Clear. Yeah, in CCL it's it's basically impossible with all this. Do you guys remember a coach named Anraka? Yes. He used to play mainly uh, ogres and as mainly as uh, no other race, only ogres, and uh, and he he should have uh, won some some matches in in playoffs. He was quite unlucky because he was you can you can make mistakes with the stunties and the punishment will be much higher than with other teams yeah. uh, but he didn't make mistakes so it was quite unfair that he i don't remember him being the one who, who won i don't know who won if who, who won jim do you remember i don't remember who won no 
but uh, I'm sure it wasn't unlucky. Yeah. I lost in CCL to Unraka many times. <laughs> yeah. Right, this is crazy, isn't it? This uh, there's a wall, a wall in front of these uh, lizards now. I haven't just do one of these. It's all of a sudden gone very, very wrong. Interesting blitz target there. Um, I would have thought. Uh, tried to ma I, I would have thought you'd have tried to manufacture pushing through the snotlings. Yeah. It's hard though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, how do you even. And yeah, he's got to use all of his rerolls to get to overtime at this. No, he's 1 0 up. He doesn't have to use all of he's his rerolls. He's 1 0 up. He's 1 0 up. I thought he was 1 0 down then for some reason. <laughs> So yeah, the ogres have got to use all the rerolls, and I yeah. guess you can use. Mm, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't reroll that and then kept them in case all the time. I don't know. We'll see. But it is quite far away from from the ball. I, I, I initially I don't like it. Yeah, I think I think probably should have eaten that one. Yeah. It was still a good outcome, yeah. wasn't it? You know, he, um, two powers off the back of the reroll. So he's manufactured away in again. Oof. He gets the pow. The ogre win was against Dark Elves. I don't think it was Andy. I mean, it definitely wasn't Andy Dave, but I don't know who was Andy, somebody else. But uh, it was definitely Dark Elves that lost to Augus in the playoffs. <laughs> oh my god, beauty scatter for the Augus. Now this this Edge Four dude can run through and uh, and get on his way to getting it. Yeah, this is the situation. If you're Athathas, where you're saying, "I wish it was turn 15, not 14." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Look at this. All the two pluses. You've got to try and hit. You've got to try and nail this uh, Edge Four, haven't you? It's crazy, Jim. Every time we say ogres are absolute shit. It's like a coach who plays and says, hold my pint. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Watch this, bitch. <laughs> That's a big pal. Yep, yeah. Huge. How many snotlings does he have left? Too many. <laughs> still. Four? Um, oh, essentially dodges. three. Three for the drive Ooh. because one's stunned in it. So... Yep, puts in his last reroll. I don't know if I like that <laughs> that reroll either. It's I'll... a fifty. I would, you know, I was just thinking exactly the same thing, Ducky. I think it's a fifty-fifty, isn't it? It's. I don't hate it, but I would have considered not burning my reroll there. I I think you. Uh, I think if you've got two, you use one of them there. Probably right because having the ball and a blodger is really good, isn't it? Um, but uh, but it's gonna be three D against that. Well, it was gonna be three D against that uh, skink if he picked the ball up uh, with the ogre that just hit. I don't know why there was not a blitz from the break tackle ogre with GFI. Yeah, I don't know. I think having it on the block, the the bludge is like so good that I, I think if I had two rerolls, I would have rerolled it. With one, it's it's harder to reroll it, isn't it? I would have. I I like my rerolls in overtime, <laughs> but <laughs> but but uh, I I really don't know why uh, Mamin Slayer did not blitz with the with the ogre that wasn't ready to blitz the the skink. He he could lose the he can lose the match there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, hundred percent. He was in range, wasn't he? Yes. Apologies, I don't know. I don't know why I just said. I don't know why I just said Ducky just now. I had Ducky in my head for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I was looking yeah, at chat and I didn't see. I was see looking at chat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, my, so my apologies, Yak. I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I, I quite often drift away thinking of Ducky. You know. <laughs> no problem. Zone out. Oh, Ducky. You, you, you know what, Cas? There are worse coaches to. to be yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Well, there we go. Two two pluses and a three plus to uh, to even it up. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. He, he, he got it, but but 
he was kind of lucky, right? Because uh, it's a four plus to get away, and we have seen skinks going away from from those situations so easily, so many times. Yeah. Yeah, he should have absolutely blitzed with the uh, Olga, the great tackle blitz for sure. So I think we're in agreement when we say a lot of that stemmed from um, Ori's really defensive play early on in that drive. The quick score would have stopped any of that happening. The two turn, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then just and then just stall him for X amount of turns. <laughs> you know, all you have to all you have to do is hold, then, isn't it? Yeah. Or don't, by the way, not Ori. <laughs> oh, don't, sorry, I'm doing well tonight, and I I'm doing well. <laughs> I tell you I what, it was is, the right, only I'm one actually, having a beer yeah, now. Yeah. No, no, I'm actually stone cold sober, and but unfortunately, <laughs> I'm I'm a bit rattled because I've actually got to play Blood Bowl in about half an hour's time, which is really pissing me off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my condolences. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, why did I enter another four-minute league? Kill me now! <laughs> <laughs> Not only Blood Bowl, but four minutes Blood Bowl. Oh, oh it's just yeah. It's so I'm. I, I decided to not re-enroll for a rebel this season i just couldn't handle the 13 weeks of four minute turns and the bullshit of scheduling um and occ i entered a few weeks back and instantly regretted it so this will be my last season in occ um, not not because i hate the divisions or anything but do you know what four minute turns can do one it's just awful isn't it yeah if you enter a four minute league you get what you fucking deserve <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So you know, and I'm, I'm no quitter. You know, I will. I will see OCC out. It's actually quite nice playing. No fucks given. Blood Bowl, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the the super the super snot or knob, super knob, is, uh, That's is, a... is here, isn't he? And this is it's a really well built snotling, isn't it? It's just perfect for throwing. I I wouldn't I. I like Surefit first, but I see why he did it. Yeah, I, I like Surefit first as well, but yeah. Shut Surefeet up, you two. First. Go big or go home. Not <laughs> 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 that sprint on that bad boy. <laughs> sprint makes a much bigger difference to your one turn chances. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, it's just much better for the one turn sprint because you can end up not yeah. in range at all. Yeah, and you choose when to use the reroll, so yeah. Yeah. In my case, after after playing two minute turns, I, I couldn't go back to, to, to three at all. Not even four. Uh, and then after playing Blitzbit, I, I'm having a hard time sometimes playing two minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, go and uh, blah blah three. Uh, it's more than two minutes. I would have loved. Uh, I would love to. I would have loved them to to go to for one minute and a half and eight minutes or something like that. But I, I, I understand that I've been playing for years and people that haven't been playing for years online need more time. Yeah, two minutes is really fast on Blood Bowl three with the uh, like the animations using the time, isn't it? Yeah, two minutes is pretty pretty um, uh, short time for playing blind. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, now, it took me two minutes. How did how did suss out how to pass in Blood Bowl yeah. three and use yeah. the interface, let alone anything else? I was yeah. I was I think I was about four minutes into the time bank, you know. <laughs> Well, yeah. they, they were they weren't actually two minutes because they, they were two minutes of your life. But since they had animations on during the the countdown, that was actually less than two minutes. Yeah, yeah, that was the problem. Ooh, not yet. Yeah, can't GFI just got no rerolls left. Not that it's really worth, obviously, doing the GFI anyway. But like, if you had three rerolls, you'd GFI, wouldn't you, and just stick him on? And, and base both of his noblars, even though it's only 36 of Dutch away. Yeah, it was horrific. It was absolutely horrific to both of From the UI perspective, from the visual perspective, so, yeah, uh, from every perspective possible, it was horrible, but uh, Blood Bowl 2020, I liked it very much. Yeah, yeah, I, that's the thing, like, I really wanted to play the rule set, and, I, you know, I wanted it to be good, and I wanted it to be playable, and it was... None of those things. 
yeah, they've just bolted Ferrari tires onto a fucking Skoda, isn't they? That's what they've done. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's a great rule set, and the game is honestly the the literally the only thing I liked in Blood Bowl Three was the camera, the fact that you could one eighty the camera and look at it from your opponent's perspective. I really like that feature. Other than that, there's literally nothing I liked. It's <laughs> so bad. Th th that's not a good cage, though, right? No, this is terrible. This is just a 2D into a, into a well, yeah, 3D. 2D into 3D quite easily. Yeah. But I don't know about this This guy going here because you didn't want to follow, did you? You didn't want to follow and you wanted to attack no, this guy. Yeah. And then you could get 3D on the ball. Yeah. You don't want to follow that. Doesn't matter, gets the power anyway, Bosch. Oh, oh catch it! Catch it, you little bastard! Oh, what a scatter! <laughs> what a scatter! Disgusting. All, all that was a little bit of space cadet ball protection, right? It was, yeah, yeah. That was that was fully deserved for the ogres to lose that. Because that ogre moved to base that strength five. Soros, if I remember well. Yeah, I, I don't remember, but uh, he should have thought of something better than it. Shouldn't he? Like, he should have realised how bad it was and not just had the, that that Noblar stood there doing nothing, basically. Yeah. It, it you know, you, you play safe, first of all, don't you? You know, um, leaving your guy in a sackable position, um, you, you just take an extra turn, don't you? He had ball in hand. Plenty of time, a fast piece. Yeah, that was oh, terrible here. Served. Terrible move um, from Oldon because he had he had silly Billy. Uh, oh, okay. It was faced by his, by Nobla. <laughs> it was faced by Nobla. Okay, so he should have hit the, that Nobla first, I think. Yeah. yeah, because he had the Saros, the the Croxy, or sorry. Yeah, yeah, Croxy could have hit him, and then and then. Uh, Nobla could have run around, then then silly Billy could have run around. Then you'd have had three dice blitz, and then you've the got classic. three dice blitz. It's really the cool. classic he hidden Nobla. <laughs> <laughs> he did not use the the, the servers because he was afraid of the three D, or, or it wasn't three D. Maybe it wasn't three D, right? Because he was based by the ogre. So despite having an assist from Slibly, that's not three D, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And plus, like, if your your only reason to hit with the uh, Crocs is if you it want is three really, D, it is it, it, it is a Nobla, right? Oh yeah, it was a Nobla. Yes, yeah, so it'd be strength two. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, wow, so this, he was... this is a huge turn. Sorry, sorry, Yak. This is a massive turn right here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, is there any skin collide? <laughs> no, I think everything's just died that turn. Like everything was just off, like uh, what one or two Saurus and and the last game. Yeah, so. massive turn, massive. Yep. But yeah, I, th I think you had to be aggressive there and get away with the skink. Um, so yes, there were two. There was two T. There was two diamond tackles. That's why you had to get silly Billy around to make the three dice blitz, and then obviously you you've got a, you've got a roll of power basically. And then you can run away and maybe you should have just dodged away and you know, no, you can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't dodge away. If, if you, yeah, yeah, it's rough, isn't it? You just got to hold for a power, I guess. I guess you got to do the 3D and get a power. So, Jim, Ogres, the new meta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's just brutal, isn't it? This is just now the whole team's just getting bodied. They're not the worst team to play against dwarves. Against dwarves? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm saying that uh, maybe there are plenty of dwarves in the second round, uh, and uh, uh, if they find themselves playing against ogres, it's a little bit like Camry. It's a little. It's a team that is not that easy to play against when you're dwarves. I don't right. know who's the next. Okay, that was the most random thing. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think I think it's not that easy for lizards, right? Because I, I said when we saw this draw, I thought this isn't that easy for the lizards because 
because they they do counter they do counter their, the lizard strength don't they so very much i think that's what i find but um, yeah they can sorry. they can base every service that they, they can base every lizard and they cannot uh, dodge away right yeah yeah exactly like uh, the saurus might as well be strength three that, that like that's the big thing because they can't hit the ogres and this anyone would get three dice against the snotling so it's basically like all of your saurus becomes strength three and are still agility one which is pretty rubbish isn't it <laughs> you know you wouldn't want to pay 80k for a strength three agility one guy <laughs> So Ori, Ori actually has the dubious honour of being only the second team to lose to Ogres. Ori hasn't lost to them, but Odon has, yeah. Odon, that's who I meant. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's, it's been a long day. Right? But yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Odon will probably. <laughs> I don't. I don't will probably wish it was Ori right now. But <laughs> yeah. you, by, by the way, guys, do you, do you know who's uh, playing against Mamin Slayer in the next round? No idea. Ori Orensis. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Your visionary all, cast. All inception. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. Anyway. Um, yeah, that was that was something, wasn't it? Um, you know, congrats to uh, Movement Slayer, commiserations, Odont, and Oriolensis for having his name tarnished by calcium. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, probably just like I don't know, man. I th I, I think was well, maybe he's a bit too timid with like all of the uh, all of the break tackles and stuff. Maybe he should just try to get forward and bang it in for the 2-0 um, due to like the uh, lack of agility of the Saurus and stuff isn't it? that's the thing like different I don't know I think that maybe he's maybe he's a maybe he's a maybe he's a, uh, a strategical mistake there but other than that it, was, it wasn't really a lot, there wasn't really much else was there that you can disagree with there I guess I guess yeah trying to get that trying to get the blitz away from this king was uh, I'm still confused about how the ogres got away with that cage in overtime that was based by a strength five service. It was pretty. In it was pretty incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, and so probably maybe should have just found somewhere better to go after getting the ball, because like that skink did end up getting based by damage tackle and then hit by the ogre, didn't he? So there might have been something. Something. Yeah, let's let's remember the, the the ogres had two godlike turns after that. You know, their the recovery yeah. turn, the recovery turn after the lizards retrieved the ball was insane, and yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, Brian can feel hard done by losing this one to ogres. Uh, whoever it is, I don't care anymore. So you know. <laughs> yep. Right. Yep. I got anyway. I got to go and play friggin' blood bowl. Oh, hate, good luck, calcium. So uh, thank oh, you very much nice for having one. me on as ever. Thank you very much, Jack. Nice to speak to you, buddy. And I will catch up with you guys soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Calcium. Thank you, Yak. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.